Have you ever wondered what is the essence of a true transformation? Now I want you to take a look at this slide right now. Okay, let's say if you are currently here and you decided to set up a goal for yourself. Of course, when you decided to embark in this transformative journey, the path is not always linear. You will experience a lot of ups and downs like this. And along the way, if you notice, you see these black dots. These are your discomfort of growth. Now, this is very important because when you decided to make changes in your life, you will make a lot of mistakes. You will gain a lot of lessons, a lot of wisdom from there. But never treat it as a failure because there's no such thing of failure. Whatever you do is all experiment, what works and what doesn't. So treat this discomfort of growth as a learning lesson so that you will start to build more resilience and until you reach your destination. Because transformation begins when you embrace the discomfort of growth and you have to understand that a step forward is a step closer to your most authentic self. So this is vitally important when you start to embark on this transformative journey. And also through this journey, we shed the weight of who we were in the past to rise into the luminous potential of who we can become. So as you take a look at this screen, you are actually working towards connecting with your future self by start doing what you're supposed to do in your present because everything you do in your present is working towards your future self. Okay, to go into details, let me show you how you can transform to be a better version of yourself. Number one, you have to define your goal and understand your why. You can simply write down what kind of goals that you want to achieve in life and also ask yourself these sets of questions. Why do you want to achieve this goal? Why is it important to you? And what does it mean when you can achieve this goal? This is important because by having a clear why, it provides motivation and keeps you committed to achieve this goal. Next, you have to create a physical environment. Now, you have to understand that your environment shapes your behavior. So that's why it is important to really think through how you can create or design your environment that is suitable for you to make the changes in your life. For example, you need to think through who are the people you need to hang out with that provides you with inspiration and motivation to work towards your goal. Or maybe you can optimize your space for action. For example, you can adjust and design your environment to make it convenient and easy for you to execute the actions. You can adjust the environment to facilitate your new behavior. For example, it can be your existing morning, afternoon or night routine. Simply need to think through of how you can design and create the environment that is most convenient and easy for you to execute the behavior. Of course, along the way, you have a lot of distractions in your life. For example, social media, your friends, your families, your kids, your dog, everything that can possibly distract you. You need to stay focused and be very intentional of how you're going to design or create your environment. And also you can use your environmental ankles to symbolize the new behaviors in your surroundings. For example, you can create a vision board on your own to remind you every single day of working towards that goal. Now next, after you design or create an environment, you can simply think of a new behavior that you want to execute. This behavior can be very small and manageable action to do because it helps to create momentum first before it naturally turns it into habits in the long run. And once you execute these small actions and see some tangible results, it starts to shape your perceptions of thinking, oh, actually this is something that I can do, right? And also after doing these small actions for a long period of time by creating momentum and turning into habits, it starts to shift your mindset. And that's where you start to embrace a new identity of your own. And as you know, I mentioned earlier that repetition creates transformation. So you have to do it over and over again to create that momentum, the habits that shapes your life. And most importantly, you need to go from wanting to change your life to deciding to change your life. Because want and decide is totally different. You may want it, but you may decide not to do it. So to achieve any successful transformation, you need to make a choice every single day of whether you want to do it. So I'm going to leave you with my favorite quote. True transformation begins not by asking how we can change, but by understanding who we are and why we need to change, as our deepest motivations are what empower us to reshape our lives. So now you have understand the essence of the true transformation. But what if I told you that to achieve any successful transformation, 
it must begin with the mind. And what secrets does the mind hold that can unlock this potential? In my next video, I'm going to take a deeper dive of how our mind works and how this can provide a transformative change in your life. So remember to stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you there.